This is the HTC HD7 running Windows Phone 7.5, also known as Windows Phone Mango. And um, this is our home screen. You can see the live tiles. It's very different from um, what you have with Symbian or Android in terms of widgets. And it's also very different from what you have in iOS, which is more like um, um, a display of shortcuts to apps. The tiles here are live. You can see images uh, of the people tile there flipping and changing. And um, in the messages uh, tile and Google Mail, uh, this mobility email, if a mail or a message were to come in, uh, a figure would show itself there saying uh, one, two, three emails or three or four messages have come in, uh, missed calls. Here is the calendar tile, and you can see a birthday notification displayed right there. The Windows Phone UI is very simple. Uh, you swipe horizontally to move through uh, the menu, and then vertically to scroll, scroll through what's available. This is the main menu, and all you can do is scroll, scroll vertically through to whatever applications that you want. Going back to the desktop, you can add as many tiles as you want to each of these. For example, if I wanted to add the face, a Facebook tile, I press and hold uh, the icon there and then pin to start and it automatically adds uh, a Facebook tile to that, to the desktop. You can remove it by tapping and holding, and then you hit that corner, and that's it. Um, it's gone. Okay? All right, let's have a look at what uh, the phone interface looks like. Here we are. We are presented with a list of call history. Okay? And by tapping on one individual, you can see... Uh, a history of the calls you've made to him, text messages sent with him, and all that. Okay, and then you can use the back button to access that. Now, if you want to uh, dial a number, okay, um, the key pad works very well, excellently. It's big, it's usable. You call, okay. Uh, you can activate speaker, you can mute a call, you can bring up um, the keypad in the middle of a call, and all that. Okay, that call has been terminated. Okay, we go back home. Let's look at our messaging. SMS. There we go. You scroll through to pick your messages. It's threaded, so uh, you can see an entire conversation. Let's see. Um... Okay, so you go through that, and then um, yes, Facebook chat is integrated into the messaging in Mango such that uh, right here under the messaging hub you can uh, chat with any of your Facebook contacts directly, and then again uh, we're looking at threads of conversations. Okay, uh, email, beautiful, very neat, very decent, very elegant. Um, here's a sample of a mail. Okay, if there is a thumbnail picture of your contact, that reflects uh, when you... Um, open, okay, when you, when you open a mail sent... Uh, by that individual you can see the picture of the person the name and then the details of the email they are all there okay and then you can check your unread mails your flagged mails the mails you have marked as urgent all of them it's really beautiful it's really very decent and sweet okay let's get a connection going there is a wi-fi connection available because i want to uh test the browser so we will need a connection you can switch this on here just a swipe so to speak 
Okay, so that's a uh, connection from Etisalat working there. And let's launch the web browser. Okay, good. You can uh, pinch to zoom and you can zoom in, zoom out easily that way. Uh, let's launch the mobility blog. The browser displays web pages elegantly and beautifully. Uh, it works well. It's smooth. It's buttery smooth. Um, some of the features available, tabs, uh, if you select tabs, it shows you a number of tabs running and then you can switch from one tab to the other. Okay, that's loading. Okay, there we are. Um, you also have uh, your history, recent, your favorites, those are your bookmarks. You can share any page you are viewing via messaging, via Google Mail, by any of your emails or any of the available social networks that you have configured. Okay, so we want to share the mobility company homepage. Facebook is there, LinkedIn, Windows Live, and if you configure Twitter, that should also reflect. Okay? Um, then you can pin a page to your start menu so that you can access it right from... Uh, okay, let's do that so that we can see. And there you are. The mobility blog has its own pile. Beautiful. Superb. Okay, quickly, uh, calendar. Here's a calendar. Agenda view. And you have other views as well. That's the month view. It's easy to create appointments. Uh, you click this icon with a plus and you can easily create your appointments and move on. Uh, let's go to multimedia. Okay. Uh, the people hub, we haven't been there yet. Yes. That's a very, very interesting uh, aspect of the Windows Phone platform. Uh, you are able to read Facebook statuses and um, Twitter statuses all here. You are able to update your own status and you can see pictures of um, it's this is basically like a history recent contacts you have made um, this is the contact list and your own uh, image from your social network is displayed your current update is displayed or your current status rather is displayed you can if you tap on this right it allows you to post a new message to your social network whether it's twitter facebook or linkedin you can check in and then you can set a chat status in other words you want to show us online or offline to those that you're um, connected to on your social networks it's really beautiful um a, if we pick we go through um the contacts you can search okay you can search click that button and then let's say your me did i pick that well oops seen through the review okay that's your Mary Ways profile and email address birthday job title it's all there the history of my calls uh, SMSs chats they're all there and it's really beautiful okay but if you're not satisfied with that of course you can install third-party Facebook applications you can install third-party Twitter applications uh, which give you more functionality because the the functionality in the people hub is actually basic very basic i know that a lot of people will be interested in music and videos so you might as well go there okay uh, so you can scroll horizontally to check your history of the tracks you have played and uh, videos you have played uh, if you've just synchronized your device this 
the menu displays the new items you have which will make it really easy to uh, find what you've just uploaded okay so let's can we play something from john legend okay beautiful uh you can go to the previous track you can pause move to the next one you can repeat uh the track play at random etc etc you can uh, share this with your contacts you can go to the marketplace and save it as a playlist beautifully done okay videos let's see okay um there are no videos synced to this device at this time okay okay now good here is an email uh this is the live chat we're back on the desktop and you see uh, that figure one there it's saying that i have a mail an unread mail waiting for me in there and that's beautiful really it is very beautiful um you have other apps built in there's support for google there's support for uh mail for exchange there's support for imap uh, all manner of protocols there's um bing maps available the marketplace where you can purchase uh, this messenger application is a third party application oh it will be a great disservice to this platform if i forget to show you the office hub where you can create and edit uh, microsoft office applications you can also use a uh, one note okay um windows phone 7.5 syncs lets you sync your applications directly okay um that's the volume button i'm reducing the volume of the track playing okay it lets you synchronize your applications to SkyDrive. microsoft gives you um a, a free uh space on the SkyDrive service to use with your Windows Phone device. Okay, so this is the Office application. For example, if you want to explore Word, okay, you can scroll through, pick your Word documents. You can create. Okay, it asks you whether you want to create Word, Excel, agenda, expenses. You know a whole wide range of this, and then you select that and you can start typing. The keyboard is nifty it's good it works in both uh, portrait and landscape it's one of the better uh, mobile os keyboards out there it's really a joy to use okay um this is not uh, supposed to be an extensive review in order to keep the size of this video down let's look at pictures okay you can scroll through pictures uh, pictures taken with your camera, camera roll. Okay. Your different albums, uh, arranged according to dates, pictures you favorited, uh, your contacts, etc. etc. It's all there. It's really very fluid and it works well. Okay. Have I left anything out? The camera interface. Oh, sorry. That's Facebook. It's a third-party application. It's a third-party application that works here. Okay. All right. Um, that's it for now. Windows Phone 7.5 Mango.